Create a table control. ABAP offers a mechanism for displaying and, and using table data in a screen. This mechanism is table controls. Table controls are types of screen tables you can add to a screen in the screen painter. You have to declare a control variable of type table view using control statement in the ABAP program. You can use the wizard to generate your ABAP code for your table control. Let's go inside the SAP system and let's create a table control using the wizard in the screen painter. So now let's create a program with a table control. So we go to transaction SE80, the object navigator, and inside the ABAP course package in programs I'm going to right click create the table control I uncheck without the top include and this is going to be example program for a table control save save and select the request and save so now we the first thing we need to do is we need to declare some uh, variables for the internal table so let's start by using the types begin off type as flight end of as flight and I want to use tables ds flight table so I want to include all the fields from the s flight so I'm going to double click on the table so I navigate and I'm going to copy my fields starting from the car ID I'm going to press control Y on my keyboard and then I can select up until here copy and then I can go back and I can start naming the components of my type so first I'm going to start with a uh, field name mark type C and then I'm going to paste the rest of my fields so this type so this type this way I don't have to type everything so I start filling in everything FL date type estate price type s price currency type s -cur code type seat max type this one type some type type and the last one type So I declare everything and then I, I align everything. I can use my pretty printer here because it's not going to align this. I have to align this manually. But there you go. And I save. Now I'm going to declare an internal table that I'm going to use for my table control. 
so internal table as flight type table of my recently declared type and I'm also going to declare a working area like line of IT as flight so once I have uh, created a type and an internal table and a working area I, I always have to do this before creating my table control so now I can create a screen in my program so I go to my program right click and I choose create a screen and I'm going to assign screen 9000 and this is going to be screen for table control and I save my screen and now I go to the layout this is going to load the screen painter now I maximize the screen painter and I click on this icon this is the table control wizard so I want my table to be displayed on the screen this big and this is going to start my wizard so I click on continue and the name I, I type the name for the ta my table control so this is going to be called table control 9000 because this, this is my screen 9000 continue I want to use an internal program table no values were found this is because I first I need to activate my program so I'm going to cancel yes cancel my wizard and I go back and I click on change display yes I want to save and I have to activate my program so now once it is active I can go back to my layout and now I use the wizard the table control wizard pops up I type one more time the name for my table control and I use the internal program table now I can select my internal table and my work area now I click on continue now I select all the fields that, wa that I want to be displayed for my table control so I want everything except the mark field we're going to use that field for another thing so select everything and click on continue Cl select input control and click on line selection and here you write the mark field this is going to be used to mark a, f a record or a line when you select it so if you want to be able to select lines in your table control you must mark input control and mark line selection single and use the mark a uh, field that you declared so click on continue uh, select scroll if you want the scroll to be generated and the insert delete line also if you want them to be generated click on continue now you can leave the same program control for all of the code that is going to be generated or you can separate it in different includes I'm, I'm going to separate it in different includes so I'm going to write and include called top for the data and include called PBO for the PBO models then an, an include for the PAI models and one include for the sub programs one include for each one so this way I keep it more organized so I click on continue and I click on complete now the wizard generates my code and also my table control is placed on my screen so I save and I go back to my flow logic now as you can see 
code was generated by the wizard. Please don't change this code. If I go back to my main program, I can see four includes were generated. So I could start the program here and I can call my screen 9000 as soon as my program starts. But before we need to populate the table that we just created. So I'm going to double click on screen and here in the process before output I'm going to create another model called select records. I double click to create my model inside my PBO include and here I'm going to select um, everything from S flight into corresponding fields of I flight. But I don't want to really select everything. I just want to select some fields. So I'm going back to the table, control Y to copy this information and I go back and then I replace that with this so I only want the car ID the con ID selected, the flight date the price the currency and the plane type from a slide into the corresponding fields of table ITS flight I check my syntax and I get this error. This is because I need to activate everything at the same time. So I close. I save. Now I go back to my program. Double click and I click on display. Now I can activate. So I right click my program. Activate. Everything is selected. OK. Now my program is active. So I start my program and I call my screen. And now this screen must be populated in the PBO with my select statement. Let me take a look. There you go. And you can take a look at the other models just to inspect the code that was generated by the wizard. So everything is OK now so I can run my program. And now as you can see the table control is displayed on my screen and my fields were populated from the, my database table but only the ones I selected the seed max seed socks were not populated because I didn't select them from my database table and I it, they remain open so you can complete them and then you can for example save this to the database table so that's basically how you can create a table control and add it to one of your screens in an ABAP program.